One of the easiest ways to reduce erosion and fertilizer runoff into stormwater ponds is with the no-mow zone. The simplest way to do this is to just let grass and ground covers grow up a little bit taller, usually to about a foot tall and at least four to six feet wide. The wider you can make this, the better. And it often helps to just make this as native ground covers or small shrubs. And then as you move closer and deeper into the water, there are a variety of native plants that you can use. In fact, the greater the variety, the better the plants. Those small white flowered plants are smartweed, which are good for bees and pollinators. The purple flowered ones are pickerel weed, which is great food for a lot of waterfowl and fish in addition to habitat. Duck potato with the taller florets is excellent for a lot of birds as it seeds heavily. And then there are spike rushes over there, which are excellent bird nesting material and one of the best erosion preventing plants you can use. And deeper in the water, you'll see other species such as spatterdock and fragrant water lily, which not only help reduce wave action, which causes erosion, but also provides great habitat for fish. And in fact, a lot of spatterdock has been shown to increase bass growth. And if you go into some of the shallower areas over there, you'll see golden canna lilies, which are not only a butterfly pollinator plant with big yellow flowers, but are also the host plant for the Brazilian skipper. And there are hundreds of different species you can use, some of them unique to Florida. Pink swamp milkweed, for instance, the host for the monarch butterfly and thrives in shorelines like this. And the more diversity of native species you can use, the greater and diver the diversity of native life you'll see.